obviously this is your first, you know, film directing, mm -hmm. writing, starring. How were you able to make sure that you got, you made sure all those jobs were done as well as t telling the story that you wanted to tell overall? Well, I worked a lot on the script and I was very clear on what the story was and what I needed from each scene and I would go through um, before we would film with uh, my DP and the script supervisor and tell them what it was important for us to get and make sure we were on this person for that moment and um, and then would just check in with them as we were filming to make sure we were getting it and um, but it was scary because there was no playback we were shooting this really like rough and tumble fashion where we you know we just had to like go 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 and we I didn't know until the next day if we were getting what we needed. Well I imagine like you would have to bring on people such as them you know and the other cast members that you trust and it kind of does seem like you guys have an organic relationship all together so how did you go about really good actors. Yeah. You know, <laughs> picking out the casting and having you guys jump on board like what made you guys jump on board? What made you jump on board? Clea did. <laughs> nice. I mean she's an amazing actress. I think I'm <laughs> she's done a lot of stuff. She's doing major, major motion pictures. <laughs> <laughs> And we had a phone call. We had a nice long phone call about it. We kind of talked about the movie. Oh, yeah. And everyone else had sort of been cast, and it's an amazing group of people. And, um, and so I, that's why I did I read the script, too, and it was really good. And you have also were in one of the few 1990s films that I'm sure there is. So oh, yeah. how do you think LGBT cinema has grown over the years? Or what is it like to be back for Outfest? Well, you know, it's funny because I don't see this as an LGBT film. I think that there are, I mean, there are gay characters in it, but I, you know, and it was really important to me when I was writing the script, I was just writing a story, you know, and it was, and I wanted to have gay characters in the movie and not have the movie about the fact that they were gay. And I think that, you know, I think the way that it has changed is that, you know, I think that normalizing it because it is normal you know and I and and I think it that is as important to just have characters in the movie who happen to be gay are, those stories are as important as like the coming out stories and going off of the title the intervention kind of a funny little play on words um, we all have our own little guilty harmless little guilty pleasures so if you needed an intervention in one of them what would it be being perfect it's like can, is there yeah, such an Kobe. intervention <laughs> yeah <laughs> You're just too perfect. Just you don't have to be so perfect all the time. You're so right. Yeah. <laughs> just let it down, Kobe. I find that any time I start getting some, like there's something I can't live without, then I immediately stop because I don't like being uh, controlled by anything. You're very self-aware. Yes, ma'am. Got it. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks guys so much. Thank you got saved. Yeah. <laughs>